Hello friends, this is Dr. Jason from Providence Neuro. Do you have the experience of shouting at someone and then later feeling bad about it? On the flip side, have you kept silent when someone else yelled at you and later thought of 100 different clever replies you could have used? It almost seems like you have two minds inside of you, right? One that reacts impulsively and one that keeps re-evaluating your decisions. Today we will learn the interesting science behind regret and we will learn what we can do in the future to become more mindful and spontaneous. From an evolutionary standpoint, the parts of our brain which are responsible for emotional or impulsive reactions are an ancient time-tested pathway involving the limbic system and its connections. The conscious rational thinking part of the brain is considered evolutionarily new and that involves most of the cortex, especially the frontal cortex. When your brain perceives danger, the emotional impulsive part of your brain immediately kicks into action. Whereas the rational part of your brain later analyzes whether that the reaction was right or wrong and plans further strategies. So always the emotional part of you acts first and the rational part acts later. That's why the American author Ernest Becker said, man is not a rational animal, man is a rationalizing one. The concept of a fast acting emotional mind and a slow acting rational mind within us has been recognized by psychologists and neuroscientists over the decades. But as you can see in this list, they all gave different names for it. Daniel Goleman called the emotional mind as the low road and the rational mind as the high road. Seymour Epstein, author of Constructive Thinking, called the emotional mind as the experiential mind and the rational mind as the rational mind. The author of Thinking Fast and Slow used the words System 1 and System 2 to refer to the emotional and rational minds respectively. That is the reason we often regret our rash and impulsive actions. You behave harshly with someone and later feel bad about it. You make a costly purchase yielding to temptation, later on you think whether it was really worth it or not. You aggressively cut someone off in traffic and later you think how dangerous it really was. This familiar pattern of acting rashly and later regretting it is something we experience across all areas of our life. So how to avoid this trap? How to become more spontaneous instead of acting rashly and then hitting the brakes? We'll talk about three things to avoid regret. First, we have to cultivate a mindful pause between stimulus and response. That's why we say, look before you leap. Mindfulness means consciously observing your mind. Consciously observing your thought patterns is also called metacognition. Practice observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment and you can recognize when an emotional response occurs before it takes over you. Second, try the 10 minute rule. When you feel anger rising within you, try waiting for 10 minutes before responding. That gives time for your rational mind to act and maybe you can avoid rash responses. This is important because a word once spoken cannot be recalled. Third. Try labeling your emotions. When you're angry, say, I am feeling angry. When you're feeling stressed, say, I am feeling stressed. When you use language to label your emotions, you consciously use your rational brain because language area is in the cortex. And as a final thought, always remember to be compassionate on yourself. Understand that you will sometimes slip, but instead of beating yourself up, positively commit to be more mindful in future. So it's not about being perfect, but it's about trying to improve yourself more and more every day. Hope you find this video useful. Please give this video a like, mention your opinions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you and meet you in the next video.